This is some wild stuff from Amazon. So Amazon is falling behind in its grocery business and its online shopping space. Basically everything. Now, Amazon is no doubt the largest e-commerce platform in the world. It has an annual revenue of $450 billion. But more mass shutdowns and layoffs are being announced across multiple divisions of the company. This retail apocalypse that I described in a video a couple weeks ago apparently seems to be attacking the biggest of companies. So a bit scary. And this gives us a bleak view of the overall state of the economy. It's quite possible that soon Whole Foods, Amazon Go, and Amazon Fresh and convenience stores may disappear for good. This is a wake up call for everyone because the downfall of so many of these food retail chains is not only an economic worry, but a basic necessity worry. I mean, we all need food. It's becoming increasingly clear that Amazon's entrance into the grocery business has been a miscalculation. Amazon had expected hundreds, if not thousands of stores to open nationwide. During Amazon's earnings call, CEO Andy Jassy mentioned that the company is still working on figuring out a successful model for the grocery sector. They're going to be closing down many locations and holding off on expanding until they come up with an easy way to stand out from the competition that's already established in the market. Sounds grim. This action came after its growth results showed figures that were significantly below expectations. Its fresh supermarkets and cashierless convenience stores saw a sales boom during the pandemic, but since the second half of 2021, there's been a sharp decline and the company's revenue is steadily shrinking. So now they're actually pausing the development of some of their Amazon fresh grocery stores and shutting down many locations that they don't think really have the opportunity to survive. Grocery stores traditionally survive on very thin margins, but Amazon does not have a history of surviving on thin margin. It turns out that Amazon's investment in an underdeveloped business model for the grocery category was nothing but a big waste of money. Adding to this downsizing, Amazon is going to shut down its global online bookstore just to cut costs. They're shutting down Book Depository after almost two decades. The UK-based bookseller, bought by Amazon in 2011, announced Wednesday that it will cease operations on April 26. The company will continue to provide support to their customers with their orders until June 23rd. Founded in the UK in 2004, Book Depository sells over 20 million books and offers free delivery with no minimum spend to more than 120 countries. Plus, Amazon is laying off 100 employees across its gaming divisions. Amazon is making changes to its game production teams. The company is letting go of just over 100 employees who worked on Prime Gaming, Game Growth, and Amazon Game San Diego. Amazon is also moving workers to different projects that fit their goals better. But the company's publishing efforts will also get bigger and at least laid off employees will get paid while they search for new jobs. Here this says, the company hasn't elaborated on the reasons for the layoff. In his memo, Hartman says the cuts come after Amazon weighed its ongoing projects against long-term goals. Topping that off, a leaked Amazon memo shows that they want to reduce employee stock awards in 2025. Leaked Amazon memo shows plans to reduce employee stock awards in 2025. The online retailer and cloud service provider told managers that was trimming the number of restricted stock units granted to workers because of budget concerns. Amazon's stock price slump impacted restricted stock unit based compensation, causing employees to worry about their earnings potential. Last week, Amazon revealed that it's postponing the construction of its second headquarters in Virginia, outside of Washington, D.C. In January, it was confirmed that it plans to cut 18,000 jobs from its global workforce. And again last week, it was revealed that they're going to eliminate an additional 9,000 jobs over the next few weeks. It's going to be the second round of layoffs in all of the company's history. At the moment, the retailer is closing one-third of its Amazon Go stores. Meanwhile, Whole Foods Market, Amazon's natural and organic food chain, announced that it's shutting down dozens of supermarkets in four states. The affected stores are located in Alabama, California, Massachusetts, and Illinois. Again, this is fueled by declining sales and persistent underperformance. This decision was made right after Amazon reported that Whole Foods markets faced the highest quarterly loss in seven years. So more and more looks like Amazon purchase of Whole Foods might have been a strategic error. Plus, the pandemic made it look like things were going to continue to go well for Whole Foods due to its home delivery system and also how customers shifted away from physical retail shops. But after the economy reopened, its brick and mortar sales fell by 16% and it only went further down from there. 
Another challenge facing the company is that it's seen as a big business, and the brand lost much of its reputation for buying and selling local, which was an attribute that was always appealing to Whole Foods customers. In recent years, the company tried to maximize profits by shifting to a centralized purchasing model, which is similar to other mainstream supermarket chain. Consequently, they ended up with less shelf space for locally grown or produced products, damaging its reputation of being a business that stimulates consumers to support small businesses. Basically, analysts are saying that over the next five years, all Amazon stores, including Whole Foods, could be gone if the trend continues like this. And considering how things are going, many companies may soon announce mass closures and more layoffs. It's getting hard for businesses to keep surviving, but the warning signs are popping up. And in the case of Amazon, unless they change things, its grocery stores could be stuck in a tough spot for quite some time.